This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Welcome back to Superior Bait and Tackle. This week, we got a fast, fast fly-through show. We're going to visit Chaz again, and uh, like I said once before, you know, some of the best reports you can get right now, and all the reports that I've really been getting are from the really good reports I'm getting are coming from an island marina, the point, and Captain Mike Brantley. So this week we're going to go through it quick. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise to Louisiana for some fair bait and tackle. So what are you going to do with the speckled trout? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? I'm Mike Fesco out of Sour Lake, Texas. I won a Nautic Star for winning Big Trout and uh, West Division. There's a bunch of these tournaments that I fish, and uh, this is one of the special ones that they really come through with all the tackle packages, boats. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative.
starting the morning off. Beautiful morning here. Nice, easy winds. Good falling tide. The plan today is probably to do a little bit of sight fishing, but we're going to start it off. Before the sun gets too high, doing a little trout fishing. I'm using that new Matrix Twin Tail Shrimp. Great little product in our shrimp cocktail color. Good time of year to use this right now. It's shrimp are predominantly the food source as we're in the summertime now. Catch some nice trout right here in Pontchartrain before we go off into the marsh. See if we can pick off a few. We've been catching them all morning. We've been here for a while and it's been pretty good. Didn't really plan on shooting the video, but got a mess of fish already in the boat. Figured let me flip the camera on, showcase what we're catching them on on that uh, twin tail shrimp. And we'll talk about what makes this little area good and what time of year to fish it. What we're fishing today is the uh, little rock jetty. It's relatively new. Comes out in the Lake Pontchartrain. We really like this on a fall and tide. Great spot in April, May, June. That's probably the three months I recommend giving this a look. And we start sight fishing reds a lot this time of year. So if I'm off to a little bit of an early start and I see that the tide's falling real good, a lot of times I will make a stop in here and, you know, pick up two, six, eight, ten trout. Today we're having a nice morning, got about ten already. And you just want to a lot of times in that tide, what it does is it rips around the corner that and comes out towards Pontchartrain. And you don't necessarily need to be real tight to the rocks as it's just making an eddy break. And these fish will just sit back in the eddy where the current's broken a little bit and let those bait fish whip around the corner and get out into where the fish are hanging out. But it's about six, seven, eight foot deep, bouncing it off the bottom here. We showed in an episode last month, we were catching, found a surprising school of reds under some birds. And um, once the birds quit working, we came over here and picked off some trout using that croaker egg shad. Nevertheless, this is a just one of them places you gotta stop and check if nobody's here, especially if the tide's falling. got him in the throat. I talk about this a lot, especially this year. If you don't have them in the mouth, they can really put up a fight. Again, on that twin tail shrimp, we made this in a four inch and a three inch. Just depends on what size fish you're on. If you're on some 12 to 14 inch trout, go with the three inch. If you're on some 16 to 20 inch trout, that four inch would be better. The three inch is going to fit a two odd or a three odd hook, where the four inch you really need a four odd hook. It's a pretty, it's a bulkier bait. Both are very effective. These these little twin tails, they really flutter in the water very nicely. It's going to be a great one under a cork too. I thought it was a snag maybe, or because it's a big old croaker daddy. This is the time of the year that these move in. Excellent. Even this size, this big one, this is a phenomenal big trout bait. But when I say big trout, one of that size, you need to be catching six, seven pounders. But if you're ever on an area, if you'd like to run out towards Central, you fish down at Venice or Breton Island, all that stuff where it's real salty in the summer and it's got potential for those big ones. And you can get your hands on a couple of those. I promise you, that is the numero uno big trout bait there is out there. Over here, we just don't get those real big ones in the summer here lately. And uh, 
that's a little bit too much bait for anything we got over here right now. But you know, these two pound fish, pound and a halfers, they do love like a two and a half, three inch croaker if you can get your hands on that. It's more of like a later in the summer thing. This one would have ate a croaker, for sure. This one would have ate a croaker. You would have ate a two and a half inch croaker. You got fooled on that Matrix Twin Tail Shrimp though. Trout of this size, their main forage this time of year, shrimp, no doubt. Two to three inch medallion pogies, you know, Shad, Menhaden, great one too. As we get into like, you know, July and August, these this fish, they could turn on towards those two and a half, three inch croakers. So that's why we make that Croaker X Shad. That's one of our best selling ones. We showed earlier fish in this area with the Croaker X Shad. That's a really good one. What happens is croakers, you know, the biologists say eat the trout eggs and that really makes these female trout furious. And that's why it's such a great big trout bait. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and move on from here. Caught a nice box of fish to start off the morning. One of our, you know, starting it off with speckled trout using the old twin tail. Now we're gonna go try our luck at redfish. Don't have too many clouds in the sky right now. Looks like a nice sight fishing day. Let's go have some fun with that in the marsh. Net this one. Oh. oh, nice little six pounder there. So you saw that we were catching them trout earlier this morning, right at daylight. That sun came up a good piece there. We switched from our trout rods, or more of our heavy duty rods, tied on the old matrix crawl. That's the pumpkin patch we're using today. Out here sight fishing these beauties now. Got mostly sun, a little bit of cloud cover, but perfect thing to do after that morning trout bite. Let's see if we can get a few more in the old crawl. Just like that, baby. Just like that. Camera. That was a perfect one. This thing was crawling down the bank. We're in crystal clear water. Got the polarizer on. Should be able to see that eat. That way you can just see how entertaining this style of fishing is. It don't get much better than this. It's one of my favorite things to do. Again, on that matrix crawl seeing these big beautiful four five six seven eight pound golden bronze fish and it's just don't get any better than that i mean be able to watch a fish like this eating 12 inches of water it's just one of the most fantastic things that louisiana has to offer this is also one of the most neglected things that people do out there much more fun than catching a 12 inch trout oh green trout as you can see, we got a cloud on us right now. So when you're back here in the marsh and you're trying to sight fish reds, I highly recommend when you get clouds, just start blind casting, fan casting, aim at ditches, cuts, points, obvious deals, and certainly can catch reds that way. And you're gonna really up your odds of catching bass by blind casting. These things are very hard to sight fish. So if you're in an area that's got a lot of bass, just keep chunking and winding. You can run this crawfish uh, like a uh, 
you know, just on the surface, almost like a ribbit frog, or you can let it go down a little bit and run it like a spinner bait. Regret that. <laughs> That's a 20 minute, 20 minute time, time changer there. And he's gonna end up in that bayou, right? You know that. Well, we, uh, you know, we got some clouds today, obviously, as Chaz has mentioned. And whenever life gives you clouds, you make black drum lemonade. <laughs> and so uh, we came around this little corner here, and behind this island, there was just a big black drum. And, you know, the cool thing about them is that they're not as aggressive as their cousins, the redfish, but if you can get them sight fished, they actually will eat. And this guy ate more than one time. It's funny, the first couple throws I did at him, he didn't want anything to do with it. But then all of a sudden I put it in the right zone. And then once he kind of got interested in it, he, he started chasing it and ate it twice. You know, one of the things that I think is interesting when you're fighting a big fish, that you do it the more you're going to realize that these rods and, and lines can actually take quite a bit more abuse than you think you just really have to be careful you know over the years i really kind of developed the technique where i kind of feel like i'm in tune with the rod and tune with the line you got you know 20 pound breaking strength on this here you would really have to lift the fish straight up in order to break it so you can put a lot more heat on them and as we get into summertime it's really a smart idea to try and get these fish in as quick as possible, especially like this that you're gonna release. Cause you just don't wanna send them back all beat up and, and super tired. The old matrix craw. Gets it done on everything from bass to black drum. We're gonna let this guy go. Definitely don't wanna have anything to do with him. <laughs> he gave us a nice fight. Send him on his way. You know, it's it's incredible. You come back here in these little these little pondy areas. As Chad said earlier, we started out trout fishing right at daylight, which I mean everybody knows the lake is famous for. But the great thing is the short boat ride later, and then you're in in the grass flats. You're you're chasing redfish. We just caught a black drum. It, it just it's really a testament to how amazing Louisiana is, and the fact that you get back here and these fish and they're orange and they're beautiful. This fish hit you right on side the boat. I mean, what more could you ask for? for a Wednesday. Let's get this guy landed. Throwing that matrix craw. Right in the corner of the mouth where you want it. Beautiful, beautiful pumpkin in the marshes of Louisiana. I have plenty of fish at home, so I'm gonna let this guy go. I wanna really make sure that he's ready. We give him enough time. You know, he's put in a good effort. I wanna make sure we get him back revived. They'll let you know when they're ready. They tense up. Sometimes you gotta remind them they're a fish. Really want to make sure that they're ready. Which I'm not sure he is. <laughs> uh, he's stupid fish. I mean, he's not in the grass. So. Right. Problem that I can see him, he's about to roll over. They're so dumb. They get so like, catatonic. Stay. There you go. Yeah, you, you just want to make sure that you pay attention. You know, I let that fish go when I thought he was ready. 
did take them a second to kind of get out of that what we call a catatonic state you know when you're holding the fish upside down or vertically it kind of does disorient them so you want to just make sure you watch them for an extra second or two and that they're off he swam away just fine so he'll live to see another day as you can see me up here on this platform here whether you got one of them super high platforms six foot tall or simply an ice chest the one thing you want to do is elevate yourself when you're looking for these reds and these shallow ponds, even if you can't really see them all that good, still elevate yourself. Being up high is just going to help you see everything. It'll help you see the contours of the bottom change. You'll be able to see the weights a lot better. That fish, I particularly didn't even see it. I just sight, I just uh, blind cast it for it. him on the crawl again. Beautiful fish right here. We go, go ahead and end it on this one right here. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Nice five pound red or, red or so. Again, using that matrix crawl. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box. Get your hands on those little twin tail shrimp we were using this morning to catch the trout now we're using the pumpkin patch uh, matrix craw rigged weedless on our four aught weedless hook to catch these reds gotta love louisiana been able to do two different species of fish two different styles of fishing all in one day and let's see look it's only 9 31 in the morning and we got a box full of trout and reds so subscribe to our youtube channel Check out all of our Dockside TV. Subscribe to the Monthly Bait Box. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. We out of here. So what are you going to do with the speckled trout? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today.
Welcome back to Bill Bait and Tackle. And our Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Let me skip around. I'm going to go back down and, and tell you one more time. Uh, Captain Mike Brantley, Fishing Fool. You, you, you just go on their website, go call Island Marina, call a point, and then they'll tell you right now. They all got fresh shrimp. Uh, the captains at Island Marina, uh, you can pick what you want. You want to go catch bass. Mike is what's so good. I saw you those pictures. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain a little bit more. Mike, Mike Brantley is, is just unbelievable. You got people coming from South Carolina, Michigan, and everything. And you see these pictures. They're coming into New Orleans for something. They call them. Some of them just making a morning trip. And some of them just want to make an evening trip. Everybody's getting ready. All the rodeos are going on. Things are just happening. So, and, and while I'm at that, I'm going to talk about two big rodeos coming up. We have the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, the Big Daddy, the oldest and longest rodeo or tournament in the United States. Now, Fall Pie, same thing. I, I heard everything is, is on go over there. I talked to people at Venice Marina. Uh, Bill and Mike was just telling me that things are tip-top shape. The weather hadn't affected them yet. I don't see no bad storms coming up. Uh, but everything's continuing on the weather when you get down on the coast. Uh, the fishing reports, like I said, I'm going to go back and tell you in fresh water, uh, I'm getting a, a lot of reports right now coming from the Lake Verrett side of the spillway. Uh, since last week, I, I haven't gotten any more reports. You got to check the river stations, check Joe McAloose's column, and uh, they usually give you some fish reports. Sportsman's Magazine also giving good reports. Marshall Bayou, those are the sources that come by your lake or bait shop, especially right here, Superior Bait and Tackle, and you get the latest fishing reports. And uh, that's it. Don't forget. Y'all can send me those pictures. Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. Make sure it's clear. Make sure the sun's in the subject face or the light. Gary at ParadiseLouisiana.com. Be sure. God bless Louisiana. Come out and see me next week.